Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you all my recipe for a really scrumptious, delicious and flavorful curried goat. So if you guys would like to see how to make this, keep watching. So to start this recipe I'm going to show you all how I prepare my green seasoning. I like using pudina, also known as Cuban oregano. Next we have some fine thyme scallions also known as saif in trinidad some bandana bandania culantro shadow benny or sawtooth coriander pimento peppers one hot pepper or scotch bonnet or habanero chinese parsley and some curry leaves if you don't have curry leaves it's totally optional Next, you want to put all of your seasonings into your blender with about a quarter cup of water and you're going to blend it into a paste. I like to blend it nice and fine. You can blend it to the consistency you would like. Now to my washed goat meat, I'm adding in that green seasoning. Next, I'm going to go in with some additional chopped scallions and celery, some onion, tomatoes, minced garlic you'll notice i didn't put any garlic in the green seasoning i like to add it after black pepper goes in and salt next we're going to give this a good mix and once it's properly mixed you're going to go ahead and marinate overnight or for a couple of hours and if you're in a rush of course you can use it right away See how amazing that looks enough seasoning in there so set that aside and let it marinate when it's finished you'll put up your pot and add in your oil you want to do this over a medium heat in goes some fenugreek seeds also known as meaty seeds and we're also going to go in with some cumin seeds also known as jira seeds we want these to toast until they get dark brown in color after which i'll add in my aromatics so sliced onions scallions curry leaves pimento you can put bird pepper as i put in here or you can put some chopped up scotch bonnet pepper which is totally optional so sort it out until it's brown in color and once it's nice and brown we're going to be using this nine spice curry powder i love this for duck for goat Add that in and allow it to fry up on that medium low heat until it feels a very grainy that's your indication that the curry is finished frying and it needs the water so now add in the water and this is going to cook until it turns into a thick paste once it turns into a thick paste you'll notice the oils start separating from the curry you can see that happening here Give it a mix and this is what it should look like now at this point is when you're going to add in your seasoned goat so add in your goat and you're going to toss that goat with that curry to coat all of the pieces and what we're going to do next is allow this to fry up with that curry which is called bunjain it down so it's going to fry up in that curry. The flavor of the curry is going to be locked into the goat meat. This is a crucial step when you're making curry. So it can take a couple of minutes. And you want to make sure once it's bunging down and all of the liquids dry out of the goat and it's not releasing any more natural juices. That's when you'll go ahead and add in your water to cook. So this is almost where I need it to be no more natural juices are coming out so we're going to add water now you can add hot water which will speed up the process of cooking the goat meat which is a tip so cover your goat meat completely this does need a lot of water and you're going to bring it up to a boil goat meat can be very tough so it needs a lot of water to help it cook once it comes up to a simmer it's going to continue to cook on a medium heat until the water reduces and your goat meat is nice and tender or to your liking if you like it really really soft cook it until it's that doneness for you so i'm drying this down a little extra today 
So you see there's a lot of sauce in the pot still. I'm actually gonna let it dry down until it reduces quite a bit. So this is how it looks. All you have to do now is taste and adjust your salt. And this is finished. You can serve it with dal and rice. You can serve it with boss up shot or dal puri or dosti roti. Today we're having it with just jasmine rice and a goat and a salad on the side. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Make it, comment down below, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!